Google recently announced that cookies are going away and people are up in arms. We're also out of cookies. <gasps> And Facebook and Apple recently had similar announcements about cookies. And you might be wondering though, what is a cookie and why should anybody care? Well, I'm gonna be explaining a bit about that in this video and why these ramifications are, they don't change too much, but they do alter the landscape of marketing quite a bit. Now, what a cookie is, a cookie is literally actually just a little file that is hidden on your computer and there's another file that pops up every website you visit. Now in the past, there used to be a common practice of clearing your cookies, if you recall that, when computers had limited hard drive space. Now each of these individual cookies allow all the different websites you visit to track you around the internet. So what is a cookie? It's a tracking beacon. It's like a tag or a label on your shirt, or it's like a license plate on your car, or it's like an ID card that you carry in your wallet, or it's like the IMEI number that is on your cell phone, which tracks you wherever you go in the world. Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. A cookie helps companies figure out how to market to you and what other sites you visit and what you're doing and what your demographics are. And by getting rid of cookies, it makes it harder for individual marketers to better advertise to you and make ROI. Now, Google phasing out cookies, what it means is that simply that marketers are going to be more dependent on Google itself for the information. Google says they're victims of regulation. They are not victims of anything here. In fact, they are likely the ones pulling the strings in all of this regulation. And this regulation, even though there are news articles saying Google's being hurt here. They are not. This, in fact, is helping them build a monopoly, which I will go into later on in this video. Apple has made similar announcements. There are similar speculations around Amazon and Facebook and all major tech companies. Now, what specifically, though, does this mean for marketers. First off, what this means is the big tech companies now have a data monopoly. Don't believe what the news says about, you know, oh, woe is Google, they can't track people, they're gonna lose ad revenue. No, the reality is that all of these new regulations around cookies actually benefit the big tech companies because they become monopolies with everyone's data. This is actually good for Google, Facebook, Amazons of the world because other companies don't get their data and now these companies have a monopoly on all personal information. There's more importance than ever to really be working with Google or YouTube ads or Facebook or Instagram ads in order to market your products. So you really are gonna be reliant on these companies and their services moving forward. The second thing this means for marketers is that collecting personal information for your tracking, such as emails or phone numbers, early on in your marketing funnel is more important than ever because, you, because we are going to be using emails or people's phone numbers, some sort of personal identifier to track our visitors through where they go throughout our website. This is because you can't necessarily rely on cookies to track users anymore. So if you run an e-commerce store, for instance, and you wanna know what folks are looking at and coming back and purchasing, you're going to need their email account and you're going to want them to have some sort of sign-in to your site so you can track that user's behavior and figure out better what products they're interested in and what to remarket to them. 
Now we all know the best time to start an online business was yesterday, but the second best time is right now. And if you haven't started an online business yet, you should start one today or this week. And if you're looking to learn how to start an online business, click the link in the description, my number one income method, which is teaching you how to start your online business step by step by step. At the end of that training, you'll also learn um, about my training program called the Super Affiliate System, where I have a full training course, 14 modules curated by professional curriculum designers from major universities to help make sure that my information here that has earned me over $21 million is able to get to you in the easiest possible and the most actionable manner to help you earn money. And we have a lot of students who've made money with the super affiliate system. It took me about a week to learn. And here I am, two and a half months later, and I already made about $20,000 in affiliate commissions. Hey John, Mike Spencer here. It's Memorial Day. Uh, I've made uh, a couple of sales. So I appreciate you, John. I've been struggling to pay my bills and now I have an internet business. And within two days, I got my first sale. And if you're like most of my users, you're probably watching this on a phone, on portrait mode, not landscape mode, because you wanna scroll through the comments and you'll probably do nothing after you watch this video and complain that my videos aren't helping you earn money. Again, I don't care how you start a business, whether you start a business using one of my methods in my free traffic playlist or not, but starting an online business is going to be your best option to earning money and earning recurring money in today's day and age. I highly encourage you to do something. I don't care if you start an online business with affiliate marketing or some other way Start an online business now. It's only going to get harder as time goes on and more regulations turn into more regulations. And the other very important thing this means is that direct deals are your friend. Because cookies are going away, if you become an influencer, if you build up a Facebook page or an Instagram page or a YouTube channel or a Pinterest board or a TikTok, Companies are looking to do more direct deals so they can get insights on their audience that they're not able to get anymore. Direct deals, influencer marketing is growing at faster than any other industry right now. It's growing over 40% per year. Last year, influencer marketing grew over 50%, which is insane. Most industries grow two to 3% per year. Influencer marketing is over doubling every other year. So there's a lot of money to be made in growing a personal brand and not being scared, propagandized, brainwashed consumer that's just sitting on your phone, not creating content, scrolling through other people's lives. Create content, create content, create content. This is better than consuming content. Be a creator, not a consumer. Now, if you took something away from this video, give me a big hoorah in the comments and let me know that you're enjoying this content. Leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I sometimes do live streams and I'd love to take your questions live when I do that. But the only way you'll know is if you hit the notification bell icon. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.